in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the Lord is saying he's stepping into the finances of families this is what I'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the Lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now I'm hearing favor, financial favor. I'm releasing financial favor. You will hear the testimony. It will start in your life. It will flow to your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Where are they, oh God? Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Bring performance to your word. Bring creation to your word. Financial miracles. Financial miracles. The Lord is saying it's time to move to the next level. He's speaking to families. It's time to move financially. There is a mantle coming. I'm seeing it like a dew. It's like the dew of heaven. If it comes upon you, it's your family he's talking about. If it comes upon you, expect it. Don't just receive. Expect a testimony. I don't know how it will happen. But if you are affected by this prophetic word, then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing. Lord, spare not your hands. Stretch it from the heavens. Stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you wouldn't even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the spirit of god meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers joseph safari matthias rising for you rising for you This is what you have prayed for. It is important that you receive testimonies. You receive miracles. There is a lady you traveled from the south. Like a, one of the Yoruba countries. You came all the way from the south. And you came asking the Lord to visit your family. Right now, the miracle is already beginning for your family. Such an invasion of the spirit of God. It's bringing light to every area of darkness. There is a brother, the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. Don't change it because of finances. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. The Lord is speaking to a woman here, not a young lady, a woman. The dream that I gave you July 2012 is about to come to pass. The dream that I gave you July 2012 July 2012 is coming to pass speedily July 2012 that dream that I gave you July 2012 is coming to pass a miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name Musa Musa a gentleman by the name Musa the Lord is bringing a miracle for him right now God is healing a lady of appendicitis. 
appendicitis that's what that's what it is you don't know but you've been having severe pain severe pain is appendicitis and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now there is a man here you've been trusting God for promotion this is five years five years the Lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify Pay attention to the prophetic words. There is grace to make them come to pass. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies. This will come upon. Supernatural laughter. In a very strange way. They can't control it. I will worship you forever, love you forever. This God is too good. Don't just bring people out like that, please. This is a prophetic experience. They'll never be able to stop the laughter. It's not, it's not about what they want to do. It's a, it's a message. I will worship you forever, love you forever, because I prophesy to all three of you, let your family step into a season of laughter right now. I release that anointing, even as you are laughing, I release it in the name of Jesus. There is authority in your laughter, I declare by that authority, in the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names, the Lord is bringing miracles to people. Glorify yourself, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Listen, we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries. Mysteries are secret codes of operation. He said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of jesus christ James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James. He's a visitor. This is your first time of coming. Run. The Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family. But look at me. God needs to save you. Huh? There are many things wrong with your life. Many things. Huh? You are a bad boy. God is going to change your entire life. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but there will be a miracle for you right now. Because the hand of God is upon your life, but there is a spirit that is destroying you. A spirit that is destroying you. I cast that spirit right now. Let it live your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you can use anybody and anything. You brought James out. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to one more lady. Helene. I'm hearing a name. Helene. Is there someone with that name? Helene.
Komm. Who came with you? Came alone. You came alone. But why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. There is a spirit tormenting you. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life. Tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you are not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start... And I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We curse it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things, three keys, three mysteries that can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God in the life of a man, in a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because i want us to pray god still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come Yes, she's the one. You, come, please. Please save our time. Um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. You may look at yourself and think you are nobody you may look at yourself and think you are a weak person this is what has been destroying you you compare yourself with people you have been crying simply because you are not doing well you are not doing well in anything and then people have been insulting you and this has made you to feel so bad while you were sitting there the lord opened my eyes and i saw a lot of misery you see the lady crying you see let me tell you there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight when you see people just sitting you may not know what is destroying them eating them up because the destiny that i see is far different from what i see right now this is already putting a lot of pressure you love god but you know this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up the lord is saying i should tell you the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone Lord Jesus, I pray for this dear lady. There is nobody you cannot change. There is nobody you cannot touch. May the God that I serve visit you. May he give you a new beginning. I cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong. No. Leave them this night. Don't have anything to do with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, Madam, you are asking the Lord to talk to me that I should minister to you. I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears. You are bowing your head and you are saying, Oh God, please let this man talk to me. What is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you? 
She's my elder sister. Do I know? Come. Because I'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone, but God is doing something for the family. Please stand up. Kai, this woman has suffered seriously. I look at this woman, I'm seeing pains. You are a very kind woman, but what is this thing that makes you in trouble? All sorts of trouble. Where is your husband? What's he doing? Madam, God needs to visit three things. That's what the Lord is showing me. Number one is your finances. Things are dying in your family. That thing your husband is doing, before he collects his salary, he's already owing. There is serious trouble. You have cried about this thing. It's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now. Sir. Is that true? Yes. Your sir. husband is in, in fact, sometimes he looks as if, you know, you have to look at yourself and say, am I irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving? You are even suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else. Sir. The Lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman. There is a spirit responsible for your tragedy. This woman is a very kind woman, but I'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go. That's what I'm seeing. There's nothing you do that works. See, let me tell you, the power of God. Look at this family crying. You know, sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we are wasting time. Did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying they will now go to a prophet or somebody and he will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying I think for our official assignment yesterday she told me about your story I supposed to go back to Abu Dhabi yeah. my Three in the back of my son. It's a drug addict. My first son, 23 kids. A drug addict. Where is it? Suleiman. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no. Because they want to convert this boy. That's what I'm saying. This is, this is not a nice thing. We are going to pray. Truly this woman has suffered. But things are going to change. Your husband needs a miracle. A big miracle. Do you know this woman is so kind. She's not even concerned about herself. She would rather not have clothes than for her children. This is the kind of woman I'm seeing in the spirit. I sold my car to pay school fees. I sold my car to pay my sons. Can you work on this technical or Shadrach? Are you doing something wrong? I sold my car to pay my son's school Your fees. Your car? To pay whose school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you may god make this never be your testimony you don't know what it means the child you are waiting for trusting that god will use him to wipe your tears and the devil just hijacks his destiny now no car and the son is not even serious i need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days madam i'm looking at your sister and i'm seeing that you have not slept i'm hearing you people saying what what is wrong with our family especially the girls the ladies in your family that's what you you are the one who is saying that thing you are telling her i'm seeing you people in a discussion and you you are telling her what is wrong with our family all the ladies they are virtuous they love god but nothing good comes out of it and there are families like this seated looking at me is that true madam yes sir because i'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you we are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven how many of you seven of us how who is doing well among you Nobody. You see what I'm saying? 
seven ladies nobody is doing well and all of them are serious and nice virtuous ladies they either get married to foolish men yes, or get married to all kinds of things yes sir where is number four who is number four among them it's her mother huh her mother there is a miracle that god wants to give her because the lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her my dear please calm down what happened to your mother in her marriage the devil wants to bring it to happen to you we're going to destroy it. their father is not with her mother that's what i'm saying we're going to destroy it because this one so i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him because this god is too good bring that lady who shouted there is a miracle god wants to give her family is it okay if i just continue ministering please i know i'm supposed to share something but the the thing god is doing now god wants to talk to people let's let's just let him solve serious problems here yeah. it's your time for breakthrough stand up you come I came all the way an angel of the Lord was walking and said I should follow him and he brought me to your place come it's time for God to wipe your tears you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you thank you you get the glory you get the glory hallelujah we don't kill but i'm seeing someone's uncle dying i'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry but i'm seeing like thunder striking him that's what the lord is should help that lady right now i'm seeing it happen i announce our obituary if i be a servant of the lord right now may the earth open and swallow them i speak it by the anointing of the holy ghost any man sitting on what belongs to you any man sitting on your glory jimmy god is bringing a miracle for your sister i'm seeing your sister i'm seeing your face and i'm seeing her still flash is she here with come i didn't even know that she's here i'm seeing the lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her i'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground that's what i'm seeing you are moving and you are leaving footprints and the footprints i see flies all around it but i'm seeing someone cleaning cleaning it and the lord is saying i should tell you remember not the former things not consider the things of old he says i should tell you behold i will do a new thing god will begin a strange walk in your life and it's going to surprise you a strange walk you have a desire for god you sincerely love god and let me tell you the desire is not a waste the same way your brother is loving god and being passionate look at me it's not about perfection it's about sincerity of motive the, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting what God requires is a sincere desire for me. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that eats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood. May the water of the word cleanse you. And may grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension for a new level i release this grace upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ let's go to exodus 40 33 please exodus 40 33 we really have to be fast <sighs> exodus 40 33 
Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God but he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected complete let me tell you something half obedience is not obedience at all half obedience you must obey to the latter God is very meticulous about his instructions are we together now and so God kept watching as they attempted building it and then 40 verse 33 he says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have open there he says so Moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 it says then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle the word glory is the Hebrew word kabod the essence the fullness the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity so when we say the glory of God the effulgence of his person right filled the temple 35 and Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple when you are obedient you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways you don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God you don't have to be a man of God once you are kingdom compliant the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of God is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of God that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of God that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer prayer Matthew chapter 7 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 Matthew 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus we apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us I'm sure they are working on it and after six days listen Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and bringeth them up into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for Christians listen I know we have this idea that yes God doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the Spirit of God can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the Bible says that he was one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something I want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the Bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the Bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him listen verse 4 it says then then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth 
and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified it says and jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of god you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there. you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance dates and so on and so forth there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to say it he spake a parable B by prayer I don't just mean oh God give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer I'm talking about is the kind that is said in the book of James. Effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man. You see, let me tell you, there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer. No matter your what level, it will show. When a man does not have an altar that is alive, an altar of prayer, the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect of so things happen around our lives and we we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the ministry of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discuss with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of the healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you're a leader here and you're a pastor believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantages of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has brought a lot of catastrophe not all these things you just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual fervent you don't have time to fathom you add passion to it and as far as your passion can drive you that's the validity of the prayer time it's not about saying i'll pray for 10 minutes or five hours or eight hours 
you will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you you are praying to burn things in the spirit not for the formality of religion the problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves their little group so if i pray for 30 minutes you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual no when you are a spiritual man there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time and as you pray you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we miss it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes we require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you prayed for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a relief when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer it's not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you'll be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this as any man that prays the night time is when men, men gain crowns in the spirit why do you think people die in the night when they sleep why do you think people sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night there are many mysteries we don't know in the body of maximize your night time especially for many of us here because we are young establish things in the night don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day the daytime is for manifestation we settle realities in the night believe me it will not rob you of sleep it's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power I hear God clearly at night there are times I go outside and I just sit down everyone has slept I just sit down outside and I'm meditating many of us have been cheated in the night time the devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability let me tell you something do you know there is something called slumber I hope you know it's a spirit uncontrolled passion for sleep you are passionate about sleep i'm not just talking of resting you know you are tired and you are resting some of us is a spirit no matter how you plan to pray once it's night even if you slept from morning till that time you are just going to 
thank the Lord, Lord, I bless you and snore your way to your money. He says, Spirit, if no one has told you something is wrong with your destiny. Many politicians and businessmen, their time of meeting is in the night. Witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things. You take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit. There are times and seasons that grant you access by grace. You see, if you do not know these things, if you do not know these things, you will, you will miss out on a lot of things. Why is it called the Lord's Supper? Not the Lord's breakfast. Not the Lord's lunch. Why was it done in the night? Because there was no time? No. It was a mystery. I pray for every dead prayer life here. Or every prayer life that is need driven. Father, I'm coming before you now. The other time you gave me 5,000. Listen, if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens, your prayer must be effectual. The key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues. There is a place for praying in your understanding. But I'm telling you, if you want to make an effect, pray in the spirit. For no man knows what is in the heart of a man, said the spirit that is in that man. So no man knows what is in the heart of God. You don't just go around grumbling, just praying, sing one or two choruses, which is good. The key to prayer, I'm telling you, effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues. Spend time praying in tongues. Not just in English or in your language. No, there is a place for that. Pray in the spirit. And please, if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit correctly and seriously, I want you to know that there is something you are missing. Now, I know, I don't want to go into all the details. Our time is gone. We come from different churches different ministries i know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but i love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say lord i need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the spirit makes intercession are we together don't say i just love the lord i'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly i don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the, the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of god that is serious these are men who took territories they 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 tore the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense oh come on ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them the Bible says they kept calling on Baal for money Elijah said maybe he's sleeping wake him you know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ we love comfort to a fault and and we men of god are the ones who have destroyed people i believe in prosperity you know that i believe in the blessings of god but brothers and sisters let me tell you there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny the sacrifice of prayer it's not all about having cities there are giants on every mountain are you hearing what i'm telling you there are giants on every mountain you're a pastor you are not praying you just share a revelation and you are happy you believe you come on stage no prayer no periodic fasting no strength you just want to speak and let things happen do you think god is a herbalist no god is not a herbalist please if you're a pastor here pay attention to what i'm telling you except you want to joke around with your members or you are ready for empty pews the generation we are in now members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time 
they will get up and they will leave no matter how you pray pour one gallon of oil on your head we need power it takes prayer to access open heaven are we together we add drama in churches for two hours and then when he's about to pray they say everybody bow your head as if we are mourning somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes okay thank you jesus for answering prayer and people get up and that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker no discernment spiritual things are flying around your territory nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused may that be, not be your testimony in the name of jesus christ three enemies of prayer number one excess food excess food there is a name for it it's called gluttony believe me if you take what i'm telling you your prayer life will step into another dimension am i saying you should not eat no not at all excess food gluttony there is a connection between food and the flesh number two excess sleep excess sleep the second enemy of prayer excess sleep number three the third enemy of prayer worry 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 is a spirit that's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression have you seen people with worry i don't mean people who are just thinking real worry they can't even talk uh -uh, are you doing well they just keep quiet because Satan's goal is to shut your mouth. He knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth. He says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He said, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Psalms 45, 1 and 2. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Men ought always to pray. Brothers and sisters, pray. Turn and tell your neighbor, pray say pray again say pray again say pray in the night yeah pray in the night you will you will command tremendous power there were times in zaria most of the people here will tell you night time was the time people built strength ah come on you would see all kinds of strategies of prayer strategies but God is helping us. I'm just, I'm just challenging you, brothers and sisters, please hear me. If you are married, husband and wife, pray. A praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife. A lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already. It's a matter of time. Because every spirit, the devil will move across families. And he will come like the angel of death, pass through every city. But when he got to Goshen, he came he saw that he saw that there was a fortification what fortification have you put around your life john chapter one when satan went before god what happened he met a man who made oblations for his children it was a similitude of prayer and satan said i came but i could not access him have you not built an hedge around him satan is a prayerless christian is a powerless christian beauty and glory of God comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is God give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate God and bend his hand that's why he gave me the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit stretch in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongue and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah, those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence 
There are people who will be affected. You are a Christian, but you will still be affected. But there are those who are immune. I pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time. It's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work, I'm still cheated for calling my name that time and the native doctor was born to ashes. When Elijah finished proving his point, he said, no, 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 if we stop here, that's not all. Go and meet those prophets, kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try God. The devil has mocked some of our lives and we are just watching groaning for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort Oh God, I come to you. You too, you have seen what we have done. We have made all of our efforts. Whereas, we should come before God. There was a king in the Bible who died because he didn't seek God. It was a taboo to seek other things when you have trouble. We depend on uncles. If I talk to my uncle, he will do this. Let me tell you, never take action on anything until you have prayed about it. Especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god it is silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and i'm silent about it they know god does do you have the courage to keep quiet if god is silent do you have the courage to stand still if god is not moving if the cloud did not move they did not move if it stood still stand still the true benefits of prayer not this thing people do just for spirituality just to show that i'm a man of prayer people bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying that's not a sign of prayer that's nonsense those are the kinds of things that make god look like an idiot prayer is serious business and it commands victory say i receive grace to pray say it again i receive grace to pray grace to pray take charge of your atmosphere there are giants on every mountain if they didn't spare jesus they will not spare you i guarantee you make no mistakes do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children. You have the testimony of our dear mother. Do not think they will, they will, the devil will attack anything that can be attacked. If it does not happen, it's coming. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord. The Bible says after the temptation, he left Jesus for a season. For a season. He came through Peter. Jesus detected him. He said, ah, you caught me. The next time he came through Judas, the son of perdition. Jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled, not because he was not ready to overcome. Who oh, speaks from the heavens and the earth will hear? Who oh, speaks from your throne and I'll hear from the earth? My altar is calling you, O oh God. My prayer is calling you, oh God. Oh, speak from the heavens, and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear you from the earth. For my altar is calling you. Oh God, my secret place is calling you. Oh God, take my praise. Oh God, take my praise. Do you have an altar that calls it? 
do you have a secret place that calls him when there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games i'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer there is an effectual fervent prayer there are many brothers you will not just be established because you are a graduate there are giants on every mountain a man can look at you with his saddy spirit and vow that you will not move forward it takes prayer to move mountains by the grace of God, this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist. It's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry. There is a mystery. There are, there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry. Number three. The third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship the last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service second chronicles chapter 5 we'll read verse 13 and 14 just two verses very interesting this was the dedication of the temple when solomon had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praise the Lord saying for he is good for his mercy endureth forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the Lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of god's presence i was obsessed i wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory i wanted to find out because i saw this happen in the life of the jews I saw this happen to people who were associated to the Jews like Benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place oh I wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of God to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activating the manifested presence of God here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the bible says in psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise he said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them they came and they offered 
sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we we'll explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto god the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship god it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship god began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that i've given you tonight that control the manifestation of god's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of god number one obedience number two a a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoked the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see it because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god 
it was the goodness of God that passed before Moses. I will let my goodness, a dimension of my glory called my goodness, pass. And then his mercy. He says, for it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Hallelujah. We're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say, Lord, I want to see your glory in my life. I'm tired of just being a Christian, coming to church. I want to begin to walk in the glory of God. Lift your hands and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and pray. Father, I desire to see the glory, the manifest presence of God in my life. Can you pray? Please go ahead. Koinonia, are you praying? I desire to see your glory in my life. Lord, I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the cares of the death be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs. Signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Grace for unusual obedience. Lift your voice and pray. Grace. 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 Grace for unusual obedience. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Grace for unusual obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, please I'd like you to pray. If your prayer life is dead on its way to death, don't feel condemned, don't feel embarrassed, but I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, bring it back alive. My prayer life. At every level you can move higher. Lift your voice and pray. The fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are very much. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies. I pray my way to divine secrets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer. You are going to pray. Many of us see things and hear things, but there is no grace, access to understanding. So there are so many things God is showing us, but we are deaf of understanding. So we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly. Lift your voice and cry. Say grace to understand. He said, understand that what thou readest is one thing to see, is one thing to have a dream, is one thing to hear God speak, but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received. You need it for your marriage, you need it for your ministry, you need it for your job, you need it to know where God wants you to be part time. Understanding, understanding. Lord, I'll not just have dreams. I receive understanding. I'll not just hear your voice. I receive interpretations, accurate, unemotional interpretations of spiritual realities. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way 
that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the songs to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs i have i have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit you must pay attention to the impulses the sound sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your way that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe. No! There is authority in that song. It's like a sword. It's an instrument of warfare. You keep singing it. Sometimes for hours. Are we together now? Yeah. That's how I get fit. Let me tell you. I can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs. So glorious in your way. No other song will do. You just keep singing it. You get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. That may be a song in your spirit. You may just receive it. God is telling you, I'm coming too for you. But you see, the problem is, many of us do not know. You are supposed to take it. Don't stop singing it. That's your instrument. That's a pass in the spirit. But we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we are just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirit heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of god lift your hands and let me pray for you in the name that is above all names let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ the barrenness in your christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the word and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands 
you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of Jesus hear me the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God they are tired of noise there must be something supernatural you must desire the operation of the spirit to be activated in your life you must covet earnestly and desire it that Lord my life will become a host to your glory that it will be a privilege for people to receive me because they know as they receive me they give space for the glory they will bless you someone sows into your life and get a, a million fold return do you think you will sow again yes because he's sowing in the glory you pray for somebody and ripple effects of unending testimony it will motivate you but if the only thing that consoles you spiritually is that maybe you are understanding bible or you are going to heaven your spiritual life is barren hallelujah may you begin to command undeniable results i pray for you everybody connected to this ministry and all those listening online the thousands of people we have all across the world i minister to you by the anointing of the spirit may you begin to be commanders of miracles strange results in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for you whatever you lay your hands on i don't know what you are trusting god for but i'm praying that between now and next friday some of you before friday your requests will be answered in the name of jesus christ please believe me when i pray for you i say it again there are many of you between now between now and friday the testimony you are waiting for you have prayed you have fasted i don't know how it will come but may the god i shall make it happen for you in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and give him glory please keep standing we're almost done by the grace of god next week is our miracle service please listen now i want to see how by his grace we'll have an extensive time to really really minister to the needs of people sometimes we come we are constrained with time i want to see how we can really minister to people please invite all your friends and your loved ones it's going to be fire in this place on friday praise the lord hallelujah it's going to be fire write your request everything that has made you cry bring it before the god of heaven let's flog it out here on friday and the devil must bow he must give you to your life and please make sure that your loved ones those who cannot come please come with something as a point of contact for them hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah if you're worshiping with us for the first time wherever you are while standing please i like you to make your way to the front we want to bless you this is koinonia inside and outside first time worshipers god bless you honor them koinonia please keep standing everyone we'll be out of here in a few minutes thank you thank you for coming can we honor them can we celebrate them there are a number of them coming from outside thank you hallelujah hallelujah wow can you keep clapping may god bless all of you who brought them may god bless all of you who traveled from so far you will never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much um, gentlemen and ladies for coming this is koinonia we are here every friday it's a meeting put together by eternity network international we thank you for coming i have one guarantee that your life will never be the same i assure you your life will never be the same you will go back and you'll be amazed to see the changes in your life remarkable manifestations of the spirit especially for those of you who traveled from far some of you are pastors some of you are leaders some of you just love the lord you came others were invited may the lord bless you we are here every friday next week friday is our miracle service you can come prepared invite your friends and loved ones 5 30 we're here the lord is going to be doing great and awesome things we love you and we thank you there is a grace upon this house we want to release upon you i want you to receive it with all your heart let's stretch our heads towards them father bless them prophesy over their lives we pray for your spiritual lives 
you're stepping into unusual levels of progress in the spirit accuracy of understanding access to the mysteries of the kingdom powerful prayer life fresh grace for the journey we pray for the works of your hands your job your school your business whatever it is that you do may the hand of god come upon you you will prosper on all sides we call for favor into your life in the name of jesus may the presence of god mantle you and go with you and open strange doors for you in the name of jesus i bless you in the name of jesus may the hand of the lord rest upon you you will go and return with strange testimonies the challenges that you came here with they drop here and they never return with you in the name of jesus thank you once again i'll just ask dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the 